We're going to go to the right. Yeah, you try to keep your body still on the right. That's very nice. So that now you're over the right side. I'm going to let your left knee bend a little. That's nice. Can you put it back on straight? Yeah, very nice. You're staying on the right side. Good. Yeah, and then back on. Yeah, there's your bend. Did you get it back on? Yes, very nice. So it's all you. Nice job. Well done. And I lost it. And you lost it. Was that on purpose? Yeah. Okay, so then you can find it again. Well done, well done. Good. And you lost it. Yeah. Good, and you're going to find it again. Well done. Okay, and more overall picture, what, um, what is allowing that to happen? Postural control in the right stance. Yes, yeah, so I'm I not, yeah, that. sorry, say he's it. He's finding his midline. He's finding his midline on his right, so he's developing sufficient postural control on the right to allow him to release his knee. I know that he has quadriceps because they told me in supine he, he has full quadriceps. What I didn't know is whether or not he could stabilize himself on his right while he's standing in order to access the left. So I think that's what's new and that's a positive. Yeah, very little ataxia coming from this movement, mm -hmm. right? So he's feed forwarding postural control to the right enough to stabilize himself to move the left leg independently. One more. Mm 